technology plans with this. This is the killer. This is the destroyer. See, paying the cost of energy transition he is calling for. He is asking rich nations to pay to the poor countries to make energy transition. What is the energy transition? That is green energy, like wind energy, nuclear energy, and for, uh, what is that, hydro energy, and geothermal, all those kind of energy. So we need to come to them. We know that technology based on the use of highly polluting fossil fuels, especially coal, but also oil, lesser degree gas, needs to be progressively replaced without delay. So that is the international. See, 27 point per coal burning is much better than 70%. <coughs> India, 70% coal burning country. China, 70% coal burning country. In other words, we are living in Nazi gas chambers. Hitler, Narendra Modi, and that Ching Chong Tong, all these people are Hitlers. Hitlers. They are smoking their citizens, slow poisoning, slow poisoning. Carbon monoxide. That gas, what Hitler used at a fancy name called Zyklon B. You must have heard about that. Zyklon B. That is what we are inhaling every day in India. Zyklon B. If I keep wondering how many people, 50, 5 liter of diesel or 5 kilograms of coal can kill us all. I will call here. If you lock the window and burn it within half an hour, you will feel ecstasy. Ecstasy. Even prayer will not give you such kind of ecstasy. And slowly you drift into a kind of happy coma. And then you will never gain conscience again. Within 45 minutes, we all are dead. Only 4 kilograms of coal. That's why they don't give coal to burn in the houses. You can kill yourself. That's why they are burning only in thermal plants. Eh? So they are not burning in the houses. Even one liter of petrol is enough or diesel. You take that exhaust pump and put it in the car, close the window. You wait what happens. 20 minutes you sink into ecstasy. 40 minutes you are all there. Then you tell me how many cars are sending carbon monoxide. Tell me. Some weakest organisms like one cell, two cell, they can't live. They all die because of that slow poisoning. Coal is the killer. So that's why Pope is telling you can use almost 30% coal burning. He's giving his ratio natural gas, crude oil, so ge geothermal, nu nuclear also, hydro, see, all these things, when you bring in, you can reduce coal burning. But India doesn't show any interest. India and China, they are the destroyers of our planet right now. America, they will die. Europe, they, they all die. But the irony is, we are making all those items for America and Europe. You will find that. They are not made for you here. Everything we are polluting our land, water, air, our future, in order to make stuff for America and Europe. We are all useless stuff. We are making some cars, mostly underwear. India is underwear making business is the best. So they are making underwear for Africa, uh, Americans in Australia. And shoes, tanneries. India is polluted. India is making food for other countries. Colonialism in other way. You see, before England was here, colonization. Now England is there. And our people themselves, they colonize our people and they make money. In the process, polluting our soil air, life on earth, our future. So immediately India needs 30 percent we need new technology. Otherwise we are going to uh, ruin our future. But there is a political lack of political will. See, World Summit on the environment have not lived up to expected because due to lack of political will. That is the biggest obstacle. India and China and South Africa and Brazil, they told no, we will not comply with anything. Because you polluted and you or develop, we are poor, we need to pollute also. Let us pollute. Pollution is the thing what we are doing, not progress and development in India. We are in the good business called pollution business. India, Pakistan, present. Sorry, India, China, present. These three countries. These three countries are enough to ruin the whole world. The first 
China 1.35, India 1.25, uh, <coughs> next comes to Brazil. They are the largest population, no human population. People have a lot of economy now. So Pope is talking about only small conventions. <laughs> you, might, you would have never heard about them. What we heard in the newspaper and television, Kyoto, Kyoto, Japan, 97, they talked about Kyoto, Japan. That is the biggest. And Rio also they talked, Rio, 1992. And they talk about Copenhagen. You look at our television, Copenhagen, Durban, Paris, Summit. But nobody talked about Stockholm. Pope is talking only <coughs> small things. He doesn't even quote Kyoto, Durban, and uh, uh, Copenhagen. Doesn't even mention the name. That shows you how angry he is against United Nations. United Nations is one of the useless organizations in the whole world. Zero. Did nothing. Useless. We can close United Nations. That is the underdog of America and Europe. Nothing going on. Look at Sri Lanka. What happened? It's a useless Pope is telling is not openly, <laughs> he is admitting by not mentioning them at all. <laughs> he is telling useless to mention United Nations. But anyway, he gives credit for only one Earth Summit, Rio. That was the only good thing. Good outcome came from United Nations. And then, this is also United Nations, but small scale uh, summits. Stockholm. See, Basel, Vienna, Montreal. You would have never ever heard about them. Pope is mentioning only a small conventions. But he tells these are the small ones which made a big difference for the world. I think this, he gives credit to the small. The big, he doesn't even mention. National interest dominant, as I told you. Only self-interest, as I told you. All the things work for the common good. How come only one species working for the self-interest? So that is what the politics is all about. National interest dominate, not the common good. The national negotiations cannot make significant progress due to positions taken by countries which place their national interest above the global common good. Common good is not, it's trumped out. Only national interest. India, only India should progress. China, we are the economic giant. Brazil, we are the richest people. Yeah. Only self-interest. There is no common interest. Adaptation strategies are zero. People, you see, if you ask what is life, life is defined by three words. Consumption, reproduction, adaptation. These are the definition of the life. What is life? Life is defined by consumption, reproduction, adaptation. Consumption we are doing wonderfully well, no problem. Reproduction, no problem at all. Thank God we became Buddhist. The third one is the biggest problem, adaptation. Nobody talks about it. What is adaptation? For example, there is a bird here. As long as water and food is available, that bird will live here and raise their young. When water and food is exhausting, what the bird will do? Fly away and adapt to another environment. So that is what we are lacking, Pope is telling. Absolutely, the world is being destroyed and we are not thinking about adaptation strategies. Rather, we are thinking of more production, more consumption, more waste, more throw away. Rather, we must be thinking about what is going to happen? Huh? Can we change our methods of production? Can we change our energy use? Can we throw faster fuel? We are not doing that. So that is what he is pointing out. This is a carbon credit I want to explain. Very difficult to explain, but I want to skip. You read in Google, it's a very difficult to... Uh, in, simply it says, carbon credit means itself. It's a bogus plan. You might just nation started it. For example, in India, we can say we are not burning uh, five tons of coal. So they will give you money. Okay, you can plant trees. So now five ton coal, 
we are not burning, you promised already. So, we can't use that code. But what they do, 